Okay, so in the last video we looked at a simple 3x3 three three setup. Here, we'll do the same thing, but make the problem a little bit harder. So we have our diagonal set up in our grid, and if you're confused as to what this is, please go back to the video before this, but I'll say again that as we set this up, I'll explain a little bit about what's happening, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because I want to focus more on the algorithm itself. Um, here, let's do something more complicated. Let's try 900, different pen stroke, 976 times 845. How do we do this with last multiplication? Well, I'm going to start down here with the ones place, multiply 5 by 6, and I get 30. Now, 30 as a number, of course, is one ten, three tens and nothing else. So, 3 goes in this tens diagonal, and there's nothing here. And of course, now we move on to the next number. We could go this way. I'm just going to go up. I like working up by columns. 4 times 6 is 24. And that really means 40 times 6, or 240. So this 2 is now in this diagonal. And this diagonal will represent the hundredths place. And this 4 is in the tens place. Right? 204 tens is 240. Next, we have 6 times 8, or 8 times 6, so that's 48. But of course, that represents 806, which is 4,800, right? This 4 is now in the thousands. Diagonal, we're going to switch colors now. 5 times 7 is 35. But of course, that really means 5 times 70. So this 3 ends up in the hundreds column for 300 and this 5 ends up in the tens column for tens or 5 tens so 3 hundredths and 5 tens is 350 next 4 times 7 is 28 but that's really 40 times 70 so that's 2800 8 times 7 56 but really it's 800 times 70 so what's that well this 6 is in, well, this is the 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s column. And this is in the 10,000s column. We go by a power of 10. So this is 50,600. And then now our last column, 5 times 9 is 45. Oops. 45. And that really means 5 times 900. So it's 4,000 in this 1000s diagonal, 500. 4 times 9 is 36. If you think about what that is, what's happening now as well, that's 40 times 900, so it's 30,000, um, 36,000, 30,000 and 6,000s. Um, okay, and then last we have 800 times 900. Well, 8 times 9 is 72. And the 2 is in the 10,000s, and the... And the sevens in the hundred thousands place. I think I got that right. Uh, and you can think about it like this. If you know this trick, nine hundred times eight hundred. This is going to be seventy-two, and then one, two, three, four zeros. When you're multiplying just those zeros there, you'll know that the number of zeros will match the zeros in each factor. So here there are two zeros in each factor. Altogether, there should be four zeros in the product. It's a good trick. And that's 720,000. So yes, this 7 is in the hundreds thousands place, and this 2 is in the tens thousands place. Now what do we do? Well, we total up each diagonal. Here's our first diagonal right here, just 0. Okay. This diagonal, we have 8 plus 4 is 12. But I'm going to keep the 2 and carry the 1 over here. This could be 1 plus whatever I'm going to add up in here. Why? Well, because that 12 represents 120, so I want to add the 100 to the hundreds diagonal. But you know what? Maybe what I'll do, well, I'll try this as I go along. So here, 8 and 2 is 10, plus 8 is 18, plus 3 is 21, plus 5 is 26. So I'll keep the 6, carry the 2, because that 2 represents not just um, hundreds, right? This is ones, tens, hundreds, but thousands. It's two thousand and six hundreds. If you think about it, it makes sense, right? Because this diagonal is all hundreds, and we found twenty-six hundreds, 
which literally means 26 times 100, and that means what? Well, 2,600. So this 2 is what we're moving into the next diagonal, the thousands place, and we're keeping the 6 for the 600 in the hundreds column. Here we have 6 and 4 is 10, 6 and 4 is another 10, that's 20, plus 2 is 22. We keep the 2 and carry the other 2 here, because now that really represents 22 thousands, or 2 ten thousands in the 10,000 diagonal, and 2 thousands in the thousands diagonal. And now here, this 2 is going to be added with the other 10 thousands. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 3 is 10. So we keep the zero, but 10, 10,000 makes a 100,000. So we move the one from the 10 into the 100,000s column. And now we have everything we need. So the final answer, we'll add these up counterclockwise. 7 plus 1 is 8. 2 plus 0 is 2. That's for the 10,000s place. 2 plus 2 is 4 for the 1,000s place. 1 plus 6 is 7 for the hundreds, 2 for the tens, and 0 for the ones. And this should be our answer, but of course, we should check it. So we have 976 times 845. 824,720, and we got it. All right, hope this helps.